Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone We are from the SAUAV team With the identity number 350812 Universitas Riau In this time, we would like to present About our design detail report To fulfill one of the requirement In international unmanned aerial vehicle competition To BITAC 20 and 22 And I am Tamban Matua as a captain team The first step we took to design the S1300 was to determine the required design parameters. The objective that we use in determining the design parameter of the S1300 vehicle is the 20 and 22 International Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Competition Rules Book. Then the process is continued by simulating the airfoil on the XFLR5 software to get the aerodynamic airfoil graphic. After completion, the process is then continued by calculating the total gamma of the vehicle. After the mention of the vehicle are of time, the process continue with doing a 3D design. Then the result of the design are exported to the Fluent ANSYS software to be further simulated to obtain the aerodynamic properties of the vehicle. After that, the process is then continued with a structural simulation stage to test the strength of the vehicle. My name is Agus Muklis. I will explain production process of the SA1300. First, design using solid work. Then, Print the molding using a 3D printer so that the results are more precise. Use resin 200 GSM fiberglass to make mold the end for composite material. We use epoxy resin and the vacuum. The vacuum we, we ask is the beginning vacuum. After vacuuming the left and right side, we can trim the mold and it's ready to use to print the first leg. The first leg is printed with three layer of 130 GSM fiberglass and two layer of carbon fiber for our composite using epoxy resin. Weight ratio of resin and hardener is two the one followed by vacuum. After the first leg is vacuumed, the edges can be trimmed and spliced between the left and right. Then party push leg and the paint according to the desired color. The next step is making the wing. First, cut the polywood to the size of the wing and tile. Then, cut the styrofoam to the size of the polywood mall using hot wire. Followed by cutting the styrofoam in the form of an airfoil. Put mirror glass on the plastic miller. Then, Paint the miller plastic with the desert color. Then the wings will be vacuumed with miller. After which the miller could be the opponent and the wing could be trimmed. After all, the parts are ready. The next stage is assembling the aircraft. Combining all the parts and installing the electronic. The vehicle is ready to be tested. In order for the SM1300 to complete its mission, the vehicle is equipped with the Epic Shock Cube Flight Control System, Power Module, 453 MHz telemetry, GPS shear, and other components. 
Each component is integrated according to the datasheet gathered so that the system can work properly. My name is Fadzil. I will explain dropping system. Dropping system consists several components, namely camera, dome, the plus dropping ball, three servo to as the dropping door drive and one as the dome holder, dropping door and thrust bin. The dropping system use an image process to be able to to drop the ball on the target. The camera as the sensor will detect the color and the dropping area then process it be the raspberry. Then the raspberry will forward the comet into the servo to open the dropping door so that the ball can fall. After the freeze ball haven't fallen, the dropping door will be closed again. Then the trade servo will remove the dome holder so that the rubber in form of the dome will make the dome forward. This will keep the ball position as keep the CG position in balance. In the next round, the second ball will be dropped by reopening the dropping door. The battery used by the SA1300 vehicle is porcelain lipo battery with capacity of 2300 mAh with such a large capacity the vehicle has enough power to complete its mission for the control surface as a 1300 vehicle is equipped with the emax es3054 digital servo this servo can withstand loads up to 3 per 3.5 kg per centimeter the servo is placed two on the pilar one, one on the elevator and one on the rudder. Thus, the S1300 vehicle comply well and has good stability. For the propulsion system, the S1300 is equipped with an 80 ampere ESG, a brushless motor Sunny Sky X2H264 1080 kV and a 12 x 45 r clockwise plastic propeller this propulsion system can provide thrust on the vehicle up to 3 kilograms for manual control system SA1300 use radio link 89S remote control and R1 to the SO safer so, when there is a situation that requires the pilot to take over the vehicle, it can be handled properly. SA1300 security system consists of two parts, which are five subsystem and a circuit breaker with a fuse current breaker. In a file subsystem, when the mode is active, the motor on the vehicle will be turned off and the right will enter ATL mode. In the circuit breaker system, when the current passing through the circuit is greater than the fuse current breaker threshold limit, in this case 80 ampere, the electric current is cut off automatically. Similar ADO plane from ADO pilot as autonomous software, mission planer as ground control station, Python and Oven CPU as drop zone automatic detection system, while the hardware used in the SA1300 are Pixhawk Cube and GPS Shio 2 as autonomous software, Raspberry V as an automatic detection system, Telemetry SBT1043 type as a tool for communication between the SA1300 and ground control station, Logitech Webcam as drop zone detector.
No RC receiver. Mode change to circle. Fail safe. Long event on. Type equals 2 slash reason equals 3. On this mission, the UAV will perform autonomous flight maneuvers to draw infinity symbols between the reference pole 1 and 2, then land autonomously. To be able to complete it, the play effect will be made at the ground control station using mission planner. After the play effect is completed, the play effect will be sent to the UAV from the ground control station via telemetry. Once the vehicle has received the play effect, it's ready for autonomous flight. In the driving system, the SA-1300 uses a Raspberry V3 Mini VC, a Logitech webcam, two pieces MG90 S4, and one piece MG996 S4. In order for the dropping system to detect the object or color of the drop zone, the Raspberry V3 Mini VC is programmed using by the Python language and offensive library. The offensive library is a library that is widely used for the computer vision. When the camera detects an object, the drop drawer will automatically open and drop the baseball then close again. That is all of the content of the report we made to fulfill one of the states of the International Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Competition 20 and 22. See you soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.